This video is brought to you by LearnCodeOnline.in. Visit our website or download our apps. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we are talking about one single character which came from the southern part of the country and just duped the total entire ecosystem of the Apple. This is a kind of a big news internationally and everybody is just crazy about it, getting crazy. But there is a lot that we can learn both for the tech side of the people and for the non-tech side of the people. So, let's get started. Well, if the love with question marks, the broken hearts, I went home my life without you. In case you are living under a rock, let me just get you an update that there was one single character which came from the southern part of the country and I believe, I'm not pretty sure about it, I believe that character is from Andhra Pradesh and which means sign. I'm not sure a lot of my audience is from the southern part of the country so please notify me in the comment section below what exactly is the character and what exactly it means. And to be honest, for most of the programmers, these all characters in the programming language and all the local languages, in fact, are just Unicode characters and we have to support that whenever we design application and all of that. But the single character, when you send it onto an iPhone or maybe an iPad, it just crashes it. And I saw that on my iPad as well. If you want a more like a detailed, practical thing about it, go watch the Unbox Therapy video. He did a great job. Uncle Lou did a great job there. So go ahead, watch that if you want to have a practical aspect of that. But let's talk about uh, why these things happen and what we can learn here, which is the most important part here. Now, for most of the programming language, these characters from the local language are just Unicode characters. So we have to support them. Sometimes there are exceptions for them and we have to handle the exception. So it was a simple case of mishandling the exception there. And yes, any programmer can tell that, that it was not handled and that caused the crash of the programs. And that was it. But there is a lot that we can learn. First, let me address about the non-tech people who don't know what the programming is and just gives the contract basis to other programmers and all these stuff. Let me focus to you guys. Now, through this channel, I want to say this, that hey, we programmers make mistakes, but these are not deliberately. We try to make sure we give our best to the programs and make sure these crashes and all these things don't happen. But of course, there are always exceptions and we are also humans, so errors are gonna be there, not this time, but always in the future as well. But we try our best. So next time when you give up your project to any freelancer or maybe to your programmer who is working under you, make sure you don't just yell at him because he's working his job. He's not watching porn on his computer. He's trying to fix these problems, but these problems take some time to get fixed. Obviously, we are trying our best to get in pace with that but obviously we are doing our job and don't yell at them so this is for all the non-tech people who just kind of uh, outsource the project or hire programmers now coming back on to the tech side of people first of all about the beginners hey beginners of the programmers look at this incident some of the finest brains on the planet are working in apple ecosystem and yet these things happen this reminds you that whatever the app you are building or whatever the website or the project you are building and if it is not working properly, hey, there is hope. Because if those people who are amazing programmers, world's finest mind can make these mistakes, so we can also, you can also. So don't be disheartened if your app is not getting installed, you are getting crashes, you are not able to find that comma that is bothering you, or maybe you are not able to install Android Studio, you are having a Gradle Sync problem. All of these problems are okay. In fact, to be honestly, if you'll ask me that what is programming and a beginners will say it is about to build the things, but honestly, when you'll move ahead into the programming domain, you'll realize that it's not only about the building things. Most of the time, it's all about fixing the stuff. So whatever the problem you are facing, it's okay. If those giants can make these problems, we can also and just be okay with that. Just don't be disheartened because your program is having some errors. All of the programs have error as long as you are building something creating something it will get improved over time so my goal here is what I want to say you here is my message is first of all don't be disheartened because your problems are not getting solved easily hey look at those people at the apples their problem is not getting solved easily as well so we are beginners it's totally fine the second thing is make sure you release out version 1 and we have seen it again and again that even Apple rolls out the version to get improvement and all these things. So whatever you are building, at least you have something. So be proud on that. As I have seen it 
numerous times on this channel that having your first project is important. Maybe your friend is going to dishearten you saying that, hey, this is not a good stuff. Uh, this is all bad. But hey, look, Apple is obviously having some of the bad stuff as well. So it's programming. It's not just about building the stuff. It's about solving the problems and maybe writing some documentation for that as well. So programming is a lot more deep subject and concept in itself. So my views or my advice to all of the programmers who are in the beginning phase is look at the Apple. If they can make a mistake, we can also just don't stop there. Okay, keep going, keep coding and keep writing amazing codes. That's it for this video and in case you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll surely catch you up in the next video. Take a leap to my world